breaking news tonight at 7. Some shocking news from the celebrity endorsement world. A story so bizarre, ironic, tragic, and hilarious that you just won't know what to do with your emotions. Plus, do video games cause people to be bad drivers? The answer to that question as well as a few amusing anecdotes. And finally, Chaplin St. James has a story that he claims will blow your mind. I'm Shades McGraw. And I'm Andy Selman, and you're watching the 7 o'clock news. Our top story tonight. We've all seen the commercials on TV where celebrities are endorsing some sort of product. Well, earlier today, tragedy struck a popular weight loss program that we were all familiar with. That's right, you guessed it. Kirstie Alley ate Jenny Craig. Kirstie Alley was known from when she used to endorse the Jenny Craig program and how it helped her lose a ton of weight. Well, now it is clear that she relapsed and lost her freaking mind. If you spot Kirstie Alley somewhere in your neighborhood, call your local wildlife expert. <laughs> That's gotta be one of the funniest things I've ever heard. Now on to something serious. Do video games make people into bad drivers? Some people might say, yeah, yeah they do. There's this guy, he cut me off earlier in traffic today. Well, here's what I think. I think you're just bitter. Also, I don't think video games cause us to be bad drivers. They allow us to be bad drivers within the confines of the video game, but it has no impact on how we actually drive our cars. When I play Grand Theft Auto, it, my car is not going somewhere. It's sitting there on the street because I'm not driving it. I'm playing Xbox. So. Here's what I think. I think, you know, maybe it enforces bad habits that you think, oh, I can do that. But if I do that in real life, it would still be hilarious. And you know what? It will. But it does not. It, 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 it really has no impact on your actual driving ability. Unless you base your entire life on a video game. Tron style. You want to know what I think? I don't think video games make people bad drivers. They make them bad at everything. The other day I had a guy who walked up to me on the street and called me a noob, so I punched him in the face. So anyone out there who likes to hide behind their precious gamer tag, you can call me anything you want, but hear this. I will find you and punch you in the face. If you think I am joking, call me a noob during a match on Call of Duty and see what happens. I dare you. Shades has gone over to the dark side, and that's freaking awesome. No, I mean, yes, you're right, but don't act like we're on the same team. Hardcore rejection! You are an idiot. Moving on. As promised, here is Joplin St. James with something that will blow your mind. Hey man, that was like an awesome introduction for my blowing your mindedness. So yeah man, like, I was like walking down the street the other day, and like, something caught my eye man. And I was like, what's that? So I like, walk over man, and like, I'm like, hey, no way. And this is what I found man. You found a guitar? That's your mind-blowing story? No, you didn't let me finish, man. So yeah, like this isn't just like any guitar. This is like a guitar that plays like really weird notes, man. Listen. It's blowing your mind, man. It's like you found a guitar from the future. That just blew my freaking mind. I know, right? So let me get this straight. You found an out-of-tune guitar and it blew your mind. Yeah, man. Mine has sufficiently been blown. Well, I'm glad that is working for you. I have to say, Joplin, I'm kind of disappointed. I thought you were going to tell us about the end of the world or that Lindsay Lohan actually went back to jail and stayed there. What a bummer, man. Lindsay's back in jail again? I thought for sure she was getting her life back together. That's a major bummer. I was making a joke, but she probably really is back in jail. Bummed out for sure, man. I see still have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. So yeah, like, that wasn't mind-blowing, man? Well, I don't know what you want, but like, I don't know if this is better, man, but like, you know that kid who's like, been on the show, who likes eating tacos, man? Well, I like, think that, like, I saw him eating tacos at Taco Bonanza. Like, I'm pretty sure of it, because I was at Taco Bonanza, man. And like, they have tacos there, so like, it makes sense. It all comes from a circle now, man. Circle of life. Wait, back up. You saw Johnny Jones eating tacos? Yeah, he was there. I was there, man. And he was like, he's eating tacos, man. It was like, what's up? But more importantly, man, is that The Lion King is a real inspirational movie. I feel like I'm talking to a monkey. Hey, Shades, man. There's a monkey in The Lion King. He's like the main character, man. 
No, he's not. The movie's called The Lion King. It's about Simba and his friends, Fat Pig and Nathan Lane. You're probably right, man. But, like, I still think the monkey's, like, the main character. Because, like, without the monkey, the lion, like, wouldn't have found his true lion self. And he would have, like, gone down this path of self-destruction and bad behavior. And he would have ended up dead. Like the other lion in the movie who died because he was a butt of fingers, man. Well, I'm gonna go see what's going on with Johnny. And by the way, guys, you both are dead wrong about The Lion King. Andy, you have all the character names completely wrong. And Joplin, I'm not sure you've ever even seen The Lion King. Yeah, man. Like, I saw part of it on the Spanish channel one time. Great. So here's where things stand. Should I go and see if Joplin is right about Johnny eating tacos again? Or should I just kill myself because I'm afraid this stupid conversation will never end? Tune in next time to find out what happens. Good night. Kirstie Alley ate Jenny Craig. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you not catch that line the first time I said it? Someday we'll find it, man. The rainbow connection, man. The lovers, the dreamers, and me. The video games cause people to be tough. Oh, yeah. And they will call animal control and they will take her to the line anyway. Yeah, man, he's like the Mr. Miyagi of the jungle world, man. He's like super smart and he knows all this different stuff about jungle kung fu. He, and he's like, he's like, wax on, man. Wax off, man. And I'm like, this monkey's speaking to my soul, man.